Hello everyone, welcome in. I'm just going to get started right away um, because I'm going to upload this to the podcast and on YouTube so that way if you miss the live, you can go back and watch later and find it on my feed, YouTube, podcast, all that good stuff. So today I wanted to go live specifically because I have an, impor an important <laughs> announcement and that announcement is that three months from today will be the pre-order date for the Spirit Baby Diaries book. And I wanted to give you guys some insight just into the book writing journey and how this book came along because it honestly started as an idea four years ago and I started writing it a little over one year ago. And I actually forgot that I even had this idea in the first place four years ago. And then I was going back in my notes and I was looking through, deleting stuff, you know, clearing up space. And I saw that I wrote down in a note four years ago to write a spirit baby book. And then last year the idea just came really naturally and I started writing. And um, yeah, here we are. The book is going to be available for pre-order November 7th. And then I'm not going to share with you the official release date yet. But on the pre-order date, basically what that'll do is when you order, you'll receive the book at your doorstep on the official release date. So pre-ordering basically just ensures that you get the book at your doorstep on the official day of the launch. So again, that is November 7th for the pre-orders and I'm so, so excited. And I wanted to share with you guys like from the beginning what this process has been like because I'm self-publishing and I'm also doing some things a little non-traditionally. I'm so strange where there's some things that I'm ultra t traditional about and then other things I like, I just do them differently. I don't know another way to describe it. So I am self-publishing. I'm writing the book. I'm editing the book. Um, I might have someone look it over just to make sure because most people, even if they self-publish, do have an editor and I am designing the book cover. So I actually have it up on my screen right now, but I don't want to share it with you guys just yet. I'm going to share that as we get closer to the pre-order date, but I've been going like back and forth on what vibe I want, what style I want. Do I want it to be a little more creative? Do I want it to be more clean? And there's just a lot of thought that goes into it. But honestly, I love it. And I don't mind designing my own book cover. And I actually find it really fun. But I would say the downside of it is I'll make something and then I'll be like, okay, but I don't like that little thing or I want to change that little thing. So I'm on Canva. I have a few different slides here and I just, I keep tweaking them until they um, look a way that I want them to look. So also this isn't my first rodeo, I've actually self-published before, but I self-published back in 2020. So I wrote a couple of books and I published them on Amazon, but I didn't really know the ins and outs of properly publishing and marketing a book. So during 2020, it was COVID. I went down a writing rabbit hole and I just started writing about self-love. I started writing about, hold on, I have my author page here. So if you're wondering if you can still look at and purchase these books, I have my author page on my link tree. So let me just tell you guys some of the things that I wrote and published back in 2020. I published the mini self love guidebook. I published the authenticity cycle, the 30 day manifest your dreams challenge book. Um, there's a couple of journals on there that I created. So I'm not new to self publishing and I know the overall gist of it. But what I didn't know back then was how to get a copyright or how to get an ISBN number and barcode. Back then in 2020, when I published these journals and these mini books, I just put them together on Canva, designed them, edited them, 
put them on Amazon and that was it. And I didn't even do like a good job of marketing. I knew nothing about marketing. So pretty much when I published all these books back in 2020 on Amazon, it was pretty much a flop and things just didn't pick up. But obviously there's so much more that I know now. So I know that I need to include an ISBN number, which is basically like Amazon can give you one for free, but if you have an official ISBN number for your paperback book, the networks and databases kind of like all connect and communicate with each other. So it can be found through a different um, database or website. It's basically like your book's fingerprint in a way. So it's definitely a lot more um, organized that way to do it that way rather than to get a free ISBN number on Amazon and then another free ISBN on Barnes and Noble. Like it just makes everything super unorganized. And that's definitely one of the things that I didn't know back then. And again, all these books are still up on my Amazon author page. So if you see something there that you like that I published back in 2020, they're still available for purchase. Um, the other thing, copyright. I honestly didn't know anything about copyright back in 2020. Um, I actually recently just submitted the copyright for the Spirit Baby Diaries. And then there's also the Library of Con Library of Congress number that you need to get. And basically, they give you um, a number associated with your book. And then you send the Library of Congress a copy of your book, which I think is super cool. And um, what another thing that I've discovered is how how books are formatted really plays a part in setting the tone for the book. So with these other books that I pub that I published, I didn't put a table of contents or chapter numbers. Um, I didn't have the opening page with the copyright, the ISBN, all that stuff. And I'm actually gonna pull up my manuscript right now so that way I can like walk you guys through what I'm doing now that I didn't know before that is making it so much easier to self-publish this time. So I have in there my LLC name. I have the, um, I have like a disclaimer in there that's always super important to have in a book, a course, whatever it is that you're selling because even though the majority of people that are going to buy your book or your course or whatever it is you're selling are going to be coming from a good place. You just want to have that guideline and protect yourself legally. I think that's super duper important. And then I also have like a little opening page. Um, well, it's more of like a dedication page. And then I have like a note from the author section. And I was debating on whether I wanted to do a foreword for the book, but I figured if I'm doing a note from the author opening chapter that a foreword really wouldn't 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 be necessary <laughs> you guys when you're writing like for a long time and you're used to like clicking on the keyboard and typing all these words once you start actually talking like your brain doesn't want to connect the dots together so I have a note from the author chapter and um, I also have a terms to know section so if somebody is picking up this book and they don't know what a chakra is, in the beginning they will know and they will have that knowledge and information. So I feel like just going into it now, there's a more structured way that I'm writing the book and editing the book and going about the whole process. And another reason why I wanted to add the note from the author chapter is because basically the entire book is channeled. So every single chapter, I'm asking the Spirit Baby Realm a question, receiving a response and channeling that. And it's like, it's like a dialogue. So I'm asking a question and then putting in quotation marks their answer. So the whole book is pretty much dialogue and just channeling straight from the Spirit Baby Realm what they want to share about the different topics that are coming through. There are only like a couple chapters where... 
I'm just sharing and teaching but other than that the entire book is cha is channeled so I wanted to put a note from the author section because I think it's super super important to feel a connection to the author and to know where the author is coming from the journey that they've been on and to just feel like there's a connection there before going into the book. So another thing that might seem really small but actually makes a really huge difference is making sure that I have the page numbers on all of these. So again, I'm going through and I'm editing my entire manuscript. And in the other books that I published in 2020, I didn't add page numbers. Again, like I had no clue what I was really doing. I learned how to write on Canva. I learned how to design. I learned how to self-publish. But the actual formatting is very new for me and is something that I learned just recently. So I made sure to have the page numbers in there and um, yeah, to make it a well put together, well thought, well channeled book. And I'm just so excited for this to, it's technically not coming out for four months, but um, in three months time, it'll be available for pre-order. And I'm really excited for that. I mean, this started again as an idea four years ago and I started writing it one year ago. So it just feels like everything is coming together and I'm really excited. Now, the other thing that I wanted to mention is I have purposely planned this launch around when I'm getting married. And uh, I know typically like some people might want to have their schedule open when their wedding is coming up or even after their wedding. But I just feel like the two come together so well. And I feel like getting married is such a huge initiation. And I also feel like this book is a representation of being initiated into a new chapter of life. So I really wanted to plan this book launch around the same time of my wedding to be in that, to be in those similar vibes and to have momentum. So the pre-order that will be available on November 7th, 2024 will be a couple weeks before my wedding. And then the official release of the book will be about a week after I come back from my honeymoon. So again, I was just like, I want to ride the waves of this new chapter that I'm going through in life. I didn't mean it. it <laughs> I just realized I was like, new chapter, book, chapter. Anyway, so I was like, I really just want to be riding the waves of this new phase I'm going into in my life. And I feel like that's really going to help the book. And yeah, I'm trying to think if there's any other book updates that I wanted to share with you guys, but I think that is about it for now. I just wanted to give you guys like the book update, the announcement about the pre-order, a little glimpse into what it's like to write a book and more so to self-publish because it's definitely a journey and sometimes it can be a lot to try to put everything together on your own. I mean... I would actually say that writing the book has been the easiest because most of it is being channeled. But with the book cover, for example, sometimes I drive myself crazy and I need like a second pair of eyes to look at it and, you know, to, to feel into the energy of it and not, not overanalyze like my Virgo self can do sometimes. Now, there is a way to start reading the book before the pre-order. So on Substack, I have an option for $5 a month where I'm recording a chapter from the book bi-weekly and sharing it with you. So basically you will receive those up until the release of the book on Substack. And the way that you can sign up is if you go to the link in my bio and you subscribe on Substack, you'll get a confirmation email and in there, the, there will be the option to upgrade for $5 a month. And once you sign up for that, you can view the posts on my Substack that have the audios from the chapters. 
So if you don't want to wait till November to pre-order and then wait until December to actually receive the book, you can get started now and listen to the audio recordings of the chapters that I am sharing bi-weekly. All right, you guys, thank you so much for tuning in and mark your calendars November 7th, 2024. And again, I will be sharing the official launch date a little bit further into the future. Don't worry, I'm not going to tease you guys for too, too long, but it will be in December. Perfect for the holidays, right after my honeymoon, just vibes all around. And oh, I kicked my tripod. My goodness. Okay, <laughs> I'm going to hop off of here. If you have any questions about the book, DM me. Um, I am also collecting submissions from you guys. If you have a spirit baby story that you want to share and that you want to be featured in the book. So DM me if you're interested in that, if you're interested in sharing your story for the book. And with that being said, I'm signing off. I hope I don't kick my tripod again. I'm a little bit clumsy today. All right, you guys, thank you so much for tuning in and I will talk to you all very soon.